There's certain things that deter sleep. Firstly, is light exposure. If there's a lot of external light coming up, it will disturb sleep and wake you up. There was research that showed a 0.5 millimeter LED light pointed on a calf muscle, right, was proven to disturb sleep in individuals. Wow. Exactly. Not even in the eyes, just pointed on your calf was proven to disturb sleep. So LED lights in the room, street lights coming in, your charger lights, all of these things here have the potential to disturb sleep. So if you're someone who's sensitive to light, the cheapest thing to do, it's even free if you get it in an airline, is an eye mask. Make any clot, just cover your eyes, limit the exposure to light, your sleep could improve significantly. The second big deterrent to sleep is sound. Any changes in decibels, right, will wake you up. Which means if there's a constant humming, you'll sleep through. But once that humming switches off, you'll wake up because it's dropped. Once a loud noise goes above that, you'll wake up. So sound is the second biggest deterrent to sleep. So what you need to do is get basic wax or foam earplugs, put them in there, and you'll find the quality of your sleep could improve. The third deterrent is temperature. Many of us have experienced, we wake up and we toss in because it's too hot. Or maybe you have the AC on and the electricity shuts off and the temperature goes up and you wake up. Any fluctuations in temperature will also deter sleep. And we've seen that the optimum temperature to sleep in is 19 to 20 degrees Celsius, right? In India, very rarely can we achieve 19 degrees without an air conditioner, right? So make sure you've got an air conditioner, keeping it cool, you'll have a significantly better sleep. So light, sound, and temperature are the three predetermining factors to good sleep. If you can control these three things here, the quality of your sleep will go up significantly. Then comes into nutrition. Remember, the circadian rhythm has taught us that your body's digestive system will shut down at 10 o'clock, which means that you've got a two hour window to finish eating so that the digestion process is complete. If you eat at 9.30, 10, you're gonna have a disturbed sleep because your body's digestive system has shut down, melatonin production is starting, and as your body's trying to sleep, it's not trying to break down food. So you've created an internal disruption in your own. So try to get your meals done by 7.30 to 8, so that you've got a two hour window for digestion to happen, and when that digestion happens, you can get restful sleep. 